So as somebody who has been given the medical clearance to begin exercising following breast cancer surgery and treatment, you will certainly have limitations placed on your upper body. But the good news is you can do anything with your lower body as long as you don't have any other pre-existing orthopedic issues. Um, if you notice that when you squat down, either to uh, sit in a chair, get in and out of your car, onto the sofa, whatever, and you notice that your knees tend to cave in, go knock kneed, then this exercise I'm gonna show you is not only gonna be wonderful for strengthening your core, excuse me, but it's also going to strengthen your abductors of your thighs, which will help counter that knock kneed position of your legs. So this is just a light resistance circular band. Um, we are going to wrap this around your thighs. So you kind of uh, get this so it's not all twisted up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lie back Making sure my feet are underneath my knees, I'm going to put my arms by my side and go up into a bridge position. Now, I'm contracting my glutes, my abs are engaged, and I'm gently pushing out against this band so that when I look up, my thighs are parallel. And I'm breathing in and out, squeezing my buns as tight as I can, and then down. Now you can do a pelvic tilt pressing the small of your back into the floor, decompressing your spine, and then go up again. Squeeze as tight as you can, push those hips up. As you contract your glutes, you're also getting a nice stretch through your hip flexors, and you're also gently pushing out to the side, and then come down, do your pelvic tilt. I would repeat that, uh, starting off with maybe five or six times and working up to 10 to 12 repetitions as you can tolerate. You can also change the band. Um, they, they get heavier red, blue, purple, and you can use a heavier resistance as this becomes easy. But this is a great starting place. It's going to help you with your posture. It's gonna strengthen your core. It's also going to stretch out your hip flexors and tight hip flexors can lead to low back pain. It will also help correct the knock need uh, that takes place, particularly when you're squatting, which can lead to degeneration at the knee joint and ultimately lead not only to knee pain, but it can also cause pain in the hips and in the ankle.